Hello everybody, we are getting started with quick microcontrollers. We will start a project on blinking the LED. So click on the MPLAB integrated development environment. So the window opens up. Uh, here you click file, new project. So select as a standalone project. Click next. Here you select the family of devices. PIC 16F877A is a mid range device. So we select it as mid range. Now we select the uh, particular microcontroller that we are going to use. That is PIC 16F877A. Click next. Then you here you select your uh, hardware tool. That is if you have a programmer. You can select pick it 3, pick it 2. If you don't have a hardware, you can take the simulator also. Then <coughs> you click next again. Now, here you decide the compiler that you are going to use. So, by default, we'll use XE8. Here, you will give the project name. So, the project name, when you, once you give, here you can see one folder is being created up. All the Files regarding this project will be stored over this blink led.x folder. If you want it to pro, uh, burn the program at later stage, also it will be stored in this folder. So now you click finish. So the project window opens up on the left side. So here on the source files, you right click, you make two C source files one is for configuration, and one is the main source code that you are going to write. So first, we will write the configuration files. So here I gave the name as configuration. So it will be easy for us. So next you click finish. So the window opens up for writing the code. So I have already done the code. So I will paste over it. Here the configuration bits are here. One is for the oscillator. Then watchdog timer. Power up timer enable bit. Brownout reset low voltage programming then code protection bits then write enable for flash program memory the oscillator configuration bit that we are using is hs since we are using a high speed crystal of 20 megahertz there are other combinations also which you can see from the data sheet of the concerned microcontroller now we are going to create our source file so click on the source file right click click new new C source file use the file name as source click finish so it will create source.c so this is our source.c program so this first line that is define crystal frequency as 20 megahertz the crystal frequency that we are using in our project is 20 megahertz so this you have to correctly defined in the very first line that is the usual practice in the very first line you define the crystal frequency you have to define this very correctly say 20 megahertz i put it as 20 followed by six zeros three another three six zeros so if you don't define this frequency correctly what is going to happen is say i have used the delay function in this this delay function won't work properly and the problem gets complicated when you are interfacing with other devices say if you are interfacing with a gsm module or if you are interfacing with an lcd that interfacing won't work properly unless you define this frequency very correctly and the next thing is include xe.h so that is this is a header file xe.h so this header file why i am including this is so this port bits.rb0 this is a variable in c this variable I am as assigning a value but actually RB0 is pin number 33 on PIC 16F877A so this information that is the mapping of a variable to a particular physical port is stored in this xe.h and the next library function that I have included is this delays.h so delays.h why we have included delays.h is the delays see here this function delay ms millisecond of 500 so that is 0.5 second delay 
so why this is actually this function is actually a for loop with the opcode no operation nop no operation so that is why we have used this delays dot h without this also you can write your own function your own delay function you can write and you can call that function so for simplicity i have used this library file delays dot h now here if you look this is just first uh, main source code in c so the void main so this uh, brackets then you uh, within the parentheses uh, first I have designed trisb so trisb I have defined it as trisb is an 8 bit register so it is here I am using it for defining the ports whether it to be an input or an output so by if you put it as 0 so this is an output so this trisb equal to 0 binary or bit 0, 0, 0. So all 8 bits. So this is RB8 and port RB6. So up to port RB0. So I have initialized all port Bs to be outputs. So by default uh, in PIC structure, all input output ports are output ports unless you specifically define them to be input ports. Now I have defined this in a while loop. So while of 1. So that is if you have if you have a program which is never ending so if you want this microcontroller to go on doing this function infinitely so we define it in a loop loop which is a continuous loop so i have given it as while of one so first what i am doing is port b bits dot rb0 so among this eight ports eight ports that is rb7 to rb0 for rb0 i am changing the output value of its register to one so that is I am making the pin number 33 that is RB0 of pin 16F877 a to a high value that is plus 5 volt. Now I have waited for uh, 0.5 seconds then I am again changing the value to 0 then again this 0.5 second delay and again the loop is going to be executed. Now our program is ready. Now the program is pin number 33 rb0 will alternate between plus 5 and 0 volt for every 0.5 second delay so before going on to compile this project one more thing we have to do is we have to click on this blinking LED dashboard and on this project or properties so this properties opens up so in this xe8 compiler you have to tick for this strict ncc conformance so this NC conformance you have to give then you have to click OK then you have to click on the clean and build main project so here the window you are getting the progress over here so if you are having any errors you will be show, shown over here now it is the build is successful loading is completed so now we will go on to see our uh, output hex file so we have stored our folder is in C colon users microcontrollers MP Lab X project bringing LED or X list. Here you can see this uh, hex file over here. So hex file that is what we are going to burn into the programmer. So you click on this. So the integrated programming environment opens up. So here you have to give the device. You have, give, you have to give it as mid range. Now the device type you have to take it as uh, PIT 16F877A you are going to have. Now you apply this, then you connect. So the programmer will try to communicate with the microcontroller 16F877A. If the communication is successful, you will get a message like this. Check that the device selected is PIT 16F877A. If you click OK, again it will communicate. Then it uh, it will show that the target voltage is detected and the device is found. Now uh, you can check whether the device is blank or not by clicking on the blank check. So here the blank check is not complete. That is uh, the device is some has uh, some code in it. Uh, you can erase it. You click the erase button. You can erase it. Now you have to show the source hex file. So, we will take our project folder so 
so mp lab x projects blinking led.x dist we select default we select production we select so we selected the hex file and we start our programming click on the program the programming starts so the programming is complete now if you want you can verify whether your source code has been correctly written or not by clicking verify so now our verify is also complete now we can go on to see in our development board how our source code is working whether it's working properly or not you can take many more quick microcontroller lessons from our website lpet.com we value your suggestions but feedback you can mail them to fb at